Hey guys, oh, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise, if you're new to the channel, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be an announcement video for a new book club that I recently joined. I technically joined it like the beginning of the month. I knew about it since July, but I'm just making this video. I was supposed to make this video last week to post it for this Saturday, but I didn't like it, so I'm remaking that video bear with me um so yes i'm recording on wednesday it is two days before my elevation service which is crazy like it's insane but um i, I really shouldn't be recording videos right now but i wanted to get this one up because the book club actually fully like actually begins september so i'm doing this video so to start off with this um basically this book club that i recently joined is phenomenal and i wanted to share it with you guys because a lot of you guys are into biblical fiction as well or some people don't know what biblical fiction is so one of the ladies that i well one of the young ladies excuse me that i follow here on youtube her name is jenna van Mauric, and i'll leave a link where you can click the eye on the screen to go to her channel and subscribe she does a lot of biblical fiction and christian fiction reading she also writes and um yeah writes biblical fiction sorry and she started a goodreads book club and i'm like so stoked for it so the book club is called the biblical fiction buffs which i mean how cute how cute is that name like super cute um so she is starting it on goodreads so if you don't have goodreads i would suggest you get goodreads and if you are a book nerd and don't know what goodreads is you just need to get up on it because goodreads is amazing jenna actually made a video on how to create and um find the group on goodreads so i'll try to link the card above yeah i'll link that card above if i can find that link um so you guys can check out that video if you're new to goodreads but um if you're not and you want to join the goodreads group i'll leave the link down below it's biblical fiction buffs you can look it up on goodreads or just click the link down below but um i joined in so she opened it up on august 1st and august 1st was my appointment you guys know with the wisdom teeth four four wisdom teeth in a molar Whew. five you guys five teeth had to come out but um she opened it that day so i was like okay maybe i won't be able to get into the giveaway because i probably like souped up on drugs that's what i thought but um i made sure to enter at the time i think it was 3 p.m eastern time and 12 her time because she's in california so i was not playing when that clock hit three o'clock i immediately found the group immediately went on and i think i was either the first or the second person to comment and i think the way she was doing it was the first 10 people who commented would win the giveaway so i was either the first or the second can't remember don't feel like looking but i got my package here and i also have the book that we're going to be talking about and reading for the month of september so i wanted to share with you guys everything that i got now if you follow me on instagram you did see this i posted an ig story about it yeah right ig story yeah about all the goodies that i got so you can go on my instagram and check that out <laughs> but um okay so anyway first thing i have is this thank you card which comes in this cute little craft um kind of envelope and it just says thank you on it and inside she wrote a thank you note on a library card the library card is from this place called hearth and hand with magnolia and it's just so so cute it has my instagram handle on it and she just says thank you so much for joining the biblical fiction buffs i hope you enjoy the fun bookmarks and swag heart jenna which is so amazing so that came with that um we also all got business cards from her so i think there are five business cards yeah there are five business cards total i'm only going to keep one for myself um but her business cards are like super super cute that is her instagram handle and you can find her like i said on youtube she has a blog as well and this is the back of her business card i really really like how classy and simple it is but it's also still different and it kind of gives you her personal style if that makes sense i like her business cards they're really cute so i'm probably going to include the other four that i have in other like packages and stuff because i have so much you guys know how much stuff i have to give away anyways um with that we also got two stickers now one sticker is gone because i do have it on my laptop right now um but this is what the sticker looks like it just says biblical fiction buffs on it so cute it's this light blue color and it has the hand holding the bible which is super super cute like you can't tell me that ain't cute so we have that. I'm going to keep the second sticker. I don't know where I want to put it at. So I'm just holding on to it. Um, outside of that, we also got a pen. And I don't own many pens, you guys. I literally have maybe two other pens. Yes, I have a Mickey Mouse pen in this, this little drawer here I keep by my bed. I'm not by my bed, by my cart, on my cart. And it just has glue stick because I've been using glue stick. It has three stash teas, some candy. Yeah. It's, it's a catch-all jar, but I have two of my pens. You can see one here, and the other one is on that card stuff. But um, 
I only have two. And I really want to get into pens. But I don't know what it is. I just, I don't know. But I'm so excited to have this pen. So I think I'm going to get like a tote bag or something. And stick all my pens on them. Like, so cute. So we have that. Um, then she gave us bookmarks. And I the last two items I already laminated because... We need them to be laminated. So, the first one was this bookmark, and it just says, Keep reading between the lines, biblical fiction buffs. Readers committed to studying God's word through the art of story, which I think is phenomenal. And it just says, Finds us on Goodreads. So, I laminated mine already because we just need to laminate them. And I'm going to stick it in my jar with my other bookmarks. Um, Actually, let me get that. Okay, so I have this jar. I, okay, I have a ton of bookmarks. And I have all my bookmarks, bookmarks in one jar. But it's overflowing because I make my own bookmarks and laminate them now. So I separated my kind of like Christian-based, faith-based bookmarks from my regular like plain bookmarks. I have all of my faith-based bookmarks in this I Love Paris mug. I got this from the discount store a while ago and um, it's a hefty size cup. I don't remember how many ounces. I think this is maybe 18 ounces, I believe. But um, I keep all of them in here. So that's where that's going. This is going in there. Yep, just like that. And then the next thing she gave us was something I was so... Th this is honestly the reason why I entered the giveaway. I'm not even going to lie. Everything else was super cute. I love the stickers. I love the little pen. I love the bookmark. But this is what really sold me on entering into the giveaway. It's a door tag, you guys. It's a door tag. And it says, quiet, please. I'm in the middle of a good book. Biblical fiction buffs. Then it just says, readers committed to studying God's word through the art of story again. And oh my God, yes, I had to have this. Because I'm the type of person that has to have, has, has to have, I have to have <laughs> signs on my door so my family knows not to interrupt me when I'm doing something. And um, I have two signs for when I'm making videos or doing live sessions so that they know not to be loud. But this one, it's a door tag. It's a door tag. So I did laminate it. I slid it again and then ran it right back through the laminator because I just, I can't. It's so so cute so i absolutely adore this and love this and have already used it multiple times and plan to use it a lot more this fall okay so then after she sent out those items concerning the biblical fiction buffs book club she sent us some swag from the author that we're going to be reading from for the month of september and i'm so excited so so excited so the author we are going to be reading is connie lynn cassette and I love her. You guys know I love her writing. It's phenomenal. And, um, yeah, so we got two different things here. So the first thing we got is this postcard right here. And this postcard just has her Out From Egypt series, which is Counted With The Stars, um, Shadow, Shadow Of The Storm, yeah, and then Wings Of The Wind. And it just says, Biblical Fiction Buffs Are Sure To Be Swept Away By This Promising New Author From Library Journal. And it just has some information about the series. Now, I do own the series, so let me just show you guys real quick because I wouldn't be a book nerd if I didn't. So, I have the series, and here it is. Um, so, Counted with the Stars follows the story of K Kaya, Kia, Kia, and Evan, which are so cute. Kia is not um, an Israelite. She is an Egyptian, and she runs away with the Hebrews, and it's just about her finding her way and understanding who God is. And um, it's a, really about the Exodus, honestly, but then you're also seeing the Gentiles um, come into the family of God, if that makes sense. So, I adored this one. This was so good. I think I gave this 4.5 stars or 5. can't remember. It'll be on the screen exactly what I gave this, but this one is so cool. Um, the second one, which is a sequel, is Shadow of the Storm. This one follows one of the secondary characters from the first book, and that is Shira. Yes, Shira and her love interest, which I can never remember his freaking name. I can never remember. Ayal. 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 So it follows Shira and Ayal and their romance, and they're both Hebrews. Um, and this one kind of pissed me off. I gave it a four stars because I wasn't really, it, it not pissed off like in a bad way, but I just, I was expecting more, especially since Shira was a bit of a kick butt character in the first book. So yeah, um, I love this cover though. This cover is stunning and flawless. So we have the sequel. And then the third one, is, which is my all time favorite, I gave five stars out of the whole series because I'm biased. I'm just letting you know, this book, I, I am biased to this. And I'll explain to you. So the third book is Wings of the Wind. And this one follows, well, okay, it follows Alana and Tobiah, but it features Mariah 
And if you don't know who Mariah is, I will tell you guys in a second who she is because Mariah is amazing. But um, this one follows Alana and Tobiah and, and Tobiah. I think that's how you say his name. It's all, it'll be on screen. But um, Alana is a Can Canaanite. Yes, she's a Canaanite and Tobiah is a Hebrew warrior. And this is about the time where the whole walls of Jericho fall. Um, So, yeah, and I really just like, well, it's hard to explain, but I loved Alana. I loved Tobiah, but I just, I die for Mariah. Simple as that. Like, I die for her. And it basically gives you her background story before the next series, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So we have that. But, um, yeah, the postcard was included in that, so I love this, and I'm thinking about laminating this and keeping it, because why not? Okay, and then lastly, we got two bookmarks from the Until the Mountains Fall, which is book three in the Cities of Refuge. I, I think I gave this four or 4.5, I can't remember, it'll be on the screen exactly what I gave it, but the, my reasoning behind it was because I wasn't as attached to Malachi and Rivka, in the series i'm gonna show you guys the book in a second but um yeah i have one for myself which i already laminated but i think i'm going to also laminate this one so that i can send it out in the giveaway i have so many bookmarks to laminate it's unbelievable it's unbelievable so another bookmark to give away because i don't need two even though i love the series but yeah so okay on to the book that we're reading for september I'm so excited oh, okay so i just mentioned the cities of refuge to you guys right here are the three books. There's a fourth one coming out, the final one, and I'm so sad. But um, the book we're going to be reading is... You ready? Are, are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited. It's a reread for me, and you guys know how I feel about this. And if you just heard me read about Wings of the Wind, you know why. A Light on the Hill. It's a book that we're going to be reading. And yes, I've read this. I raved about it on Instagram. I've raved about it on YouTube. A lot of you guys have read it because I raved about it. It's so so good and i'm excited to actually reread this with a bunch of the ladies in the biblical fiction buffs book club because i just <sighs> to die for this follows mariah and her love life and this deals with an evil guy that i can't stand and i i, I dislike this man up until book three i'm just gonna say that but um yes mariah derek romance just now, you don't have to read the first trilogy because I, I didn't read this trilogy until after I read the series. Just saying. You don't have to do that. But if you do want a sort of background read, I would definitely suggest reading Wings of the Wind prior to reading this. Um, but I definitely just read them all backwards out of order. That, that was just me. Um, but this book has my heart. It's, it's my favorite from Connie Lynn hands down my favorite book from her i enjoyed count with the stars i enjoyed shadow of the storm i loved wings of the wind i love shelter of the most high and i enjoyed until the mountains fall but this one with mariah this just it, it gave me life okay it gave me life and i will say this was the book that really like struck my interest in learning more about the cities of refuge i have actually done an in-depth um, study on the cities of refuge already and i'm actually going to be doing a writing a sermon on the cities of refuge and um comparing the cities of refuge to jesus and if you haven't already definitely check out the reading plans that she has on the bible app they're so awesome i'll link them down below i've done all all three of them already plus she also has reading plans for these books phenomenal so i just highly suggest them they're down below um but yes we're gonna be diving into this baby and i'm so you guys don't understand the excitement that I feel to reread re re this book, revisit the world, and just mark it up again. Because I'm pretty sure reading it a second time, I'll pretty much mark up new things. Or just re-gush over the things that I wrote. But this is the first book. Okay, and since I'm showing the first book, I might as well show the second book, right? So the second book is Shelter of the Most High. And this follows um, Mariah and Derek's family as they're growing. So this follows another one of the characters from the first book, which is... I'm going to put his name on the screen because I always say Etienne, but it could be Aton or it can be Ethan. I don't know. Um, I always forget how Connie pronounces his name. <laughs> so it follows him and Sophia. And um, I'm not going to talk about more talk about it because you just have to read the first book to understand. But ugh, loved it. And then the third book, which is the one I didn't care too much for. I read the ebook of this already, like the e-arc, because I was a part of the launch team. But it's Until the Mountains Fall, which obviously matches the bookmark. 
yes um but yeah i still have my little paper in it um they just said uh, on behalf of the author and bethany house they just appreciate the help and promoting the title so i haven't read the physical book yet and it's kind of lonely not being marked up so i need to mark it up and reread it so yeah but um that's the third book but yes i am super super excited about this book club biblical fiction buffs if you guys are interested in joining click down below the link to the goodreads down below if you don't know what goodreads is you've been living under a rock um like i said you can click the eye on the screen to go to jenna's channel to subscribe i'll also have all of the videos that jenna had for the biblical fiction buffs book club she made i think three or four videos all about it so click the eye on the screen for all that information um and if you go to jenna's channel just tell her that nay denise from daughter of increase sent you guys over there and yeah i highly suggest you guys join in on the book club we are starting in september the actual date will be on the screen because i can't remember off the top of my head right now so we'll be doing that book club um reading really soon and that is going to be the book pick for the fall so i think she does it in quarters which is going to be awesome so i'm excited to see what we're going to read for the winter winter yeah winter quarter i don't know i'm excited so yes but i'm gonna stop rambling in this video and get back on with my life <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment rate this video subscribe did i just say rate this video i meant to say thumbs up this video comment down below if you aren't subscribed subscribe click that little bell to stay notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye